Everybody look at the screen. My name is Elizabeth. I live in the hollow in Bridgeport. It's uh, evident that the city of Bridgeport does not have the income that our surrounding sister towns have. And we know for a fact that affordable housing is a very necessary need. Families have been taken out of their homes, and now they want to build luxury apartments where they were living. We are asking for 30%, and I would like to know, will you please support us with this? 30% of low-income people living on site at Steel Point. They have a right, and I would like to ask if you will please support us with this to getting at least a thousand units built for people of low and moderate income on site at Steel Point. inclusionary zoning more than any other city in the state. 30% certainly worth debating, but I don't think we can achieve it. To create a uh, housing trust fund, where if you can't achieve the 30% on that site, you can beat up the developer and get the other 10% in cash to build it off-site, which I think is a great idea. Uh, and also, as I said, inclusionary zoning, uh, a housing trust fund, and a land bank, where we can work with people like Charlie Coviello, who, as you know, has dropped out and endorsed my candidacy, so we can sell city surplus property uh, and, and use some of that property, keep some strings attached to it so it's used to create affordable housing. I'm the only candidate in the race that's built affordable housing. I'm the only person that's renovated a house, rented a four-family house for many, many years, and gave affordable units, rented for affordable units. I know housing, believe me, and I'll be really rabid in my attack on affordable housing. Mr. Caruso, 60 seconds. I think the question is about scale pointing. Yes, I do support 30% affordable housing and model after Atlanta, Georgia, which has a tremendous success rate with affordable housing, again, for low-income uh, teachers, firefighters, police officers. You know, Mr. Finch, just short about a month and a half ago at New Hope Missionary Baptist Church, United Front, was asked the question about Steel Point. He agreed to a 30% affordable housing ratio. Now he's saying, no, he doesn't think he can do it. You know, th this is, again, the political machine, the promises, you know, the, the mask of of what's been going on in the city. He's going to get in office and you're going to find out he can't do it. Today, ACORN, I was with them in an action trying to get information from the city to find out information about Steel Point. Uh, where was Mr. Finch? You know, this is about real people's lives, about being able to live in this city. Uh, we, are, we are being pushed further and further into a sub suburb of other communities, of the Stanfords of Norwalk. Our people are being pushed out of this city. I won't allow people to be pushed out of the city. I've fought for them all of my life. I've had a vision for Bridgeport to be a better place since I started neighborhood housing services. I heard my name an awful lot tonight, things I didn't even know I had anything to do with. Um, but I really am proud of my record. I've built affordable housing, I've renovated homes with my two hands, I have four children, two of them have been through public schools. I live here, I pay lots of property taxes, and I think I understand the problems of the city better than anyone. Yeah. Mr. Well, I pay property tax too. I'm a renter. Uh, Mr. Finch seems to just dash off the about half of the population of the city that pays rent. I guess they're not able to run for public office. And Mr. Finch owned uh, housing, for example, in the South End when he collected rent uh, from renters. And that goes into property taxes. You see, it's not only Mr. Finch that believes he's the only one that pays property taxes. <laughs> Our uh, next question, please.